We are here today at Swanner Nature Preserve. We are continuing the repatriation of the Columbia Spotted Frog towards that really tall green patch. This is actually a continuation of a project that we started in 2004. Uh, back then we put in approximately 700 metamorphs, so 700 little frogs or little froglets. And uh, through the years we've also put some more tadpoles straight into the system. And this is our second year again doing what we call the Head Start Project. Really the easiest thing that we do is we'll take eggs from a founding population and we'll hatch them out and then put the tadpoles into these Head Start cages that you see behind me. And these cages help uh, protect those individuals from avian predators and we can also keep a, a close watch on their growth. We can supplementally feed them if we need to and hopefully in that way we'll increase their survivorship. Eyes over towards you. Okay. I'm just going to leave a few in the cooler. We work really closely with DWR on this project and um, it's an important one to us because it kind of can represent the health of the ecosystem. We want to have every piece back and if we have a successful repatriation it means that you know it's pretty good quality habitat for these amphibians so something we like to see. Well we only actually have about 14 amphibians within the state of Utah and we actually have a few exotics as well. So bottom line is we should be really concerned about these individuals. Um, they are a tier one species of concern. They are a good indicator of overall system health and we have to remember that they are just one small part of the food chain. So you may not necessarily care about Columbia spotted frogs but you have to remember how that individual fits in with the entire greater scheme and all the wildlife that we have here in the state of Utah. So far, it's been very encouraging. Uh, Columbia spotted frogs are very secretive, and so when we come out, it's often difficult to capture them, but this year we did find egg masses. So essentially, you know, when they reproduce, they lay these gelatinous, gelatinous egg masses, and we found quite a few this year. So it's an excellent sign that they're reproducing on their own.